Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we are checking out the Colorado DLC. This will be available tomorrow for you guys to pick up on Thursday, and uh, you will be able to travel in Colorado yourself. So we're on version 1.39, and I actually bought a low boy trailer. A lot of people wanted to see those, and uh, we do have a ownable low boy trailer all loaded up here with a mixed tank, and uh, you can see it's a nice uh, custom trailer too. Uh, and we're going to back to Rem Raton, New Mexico. Man, can't speak today. Uh, Raton, New Mexico. And we're going to take the million dollar highway down there. So we're going to be taking a little bit of a detour. Uh, and I'm going to show you the other cities that are available in Colorado. Keep in mind, this is a early version, an early build of uh, Colorado. So it's not a final product here you're seeing on my uh, video, but... I uh, just wanted to let you know that. And also, no mods are being used at all. This is Bone Stock American Truck Simulator. All right, so here are all the cities that are in the Colorado DLC. We're in Rangeley right now. We got Steamboat Springs, Fort Collins. We've got Sterling, Denver, Burlington, Colorado Springs. We've got uh, Grand Junction, Montrose. We got uh, Pueblo, Lamar, uh, and then Alamosa and Durango. Those are all the cities that are in the Colorado DLC. And then all these little different roads in between. So. They want us to jump on 50 and take that through Pueblo and then get on 25 South into Raton, which makes sense. However, we want to take the Million Dollar Highway. So we're going to do 139 down to 50, then 550 on the Million Dollar Highway down here to 84, and then down and around to 64, and then go through a pass on the northern side there. That's what we have uh, planned here today. So let's get going. This is going to be a long one. All right, all fired up here. Parking brake goes. Oh, already have the parking brake in. There we go. And uh, let's get rolling. It's gonna be a longer video today. I already know that. We're gonna take our time getting through the pass. Uh, so that's to be expected. This is a very neat area, Rangeley in Colorado. A bunch of uh, different oil fields and stuff around here. And also let you know, I am on my new PC. For those of you that don't know, I am sponsored by Jetline Systems. They make PCs and uh, provide customer support for a lot of different flight simulation enthusiasts uh, but they do make kick-ass PCs and they uh, they got mine all finished up uh, I will be making a video on that before too long uh, to showcase all of that because it's really neat it's got custom etching in it that has my logo in it cool stuff and if you've seen my uh, Twitter posts on it you'll know what it looks like and what I'm talking about I'm on my next level racing motion rig motion platform v3 we've got the GT track rig with everything all hooked up to it got our thrustmaster tspc racer nrg innovations uh is the wooden wheel it's a real wheel 15 inch wheel let's go ahead and go into second gear here and then uh on top of that it's like a ferrari uh thrustmaster wheel base and then a rick motec uh, adapter i have everything linked in the description below if you want to check it out there i'm making it right yeah yes we are take it easy here uh, and then on top of that, I've got the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals, TH8A shifter, and then I have after the after the shifter, I've got a rod and an extension piece there, and then it goes to a Fulton Eaton Fuller 18-speed uh, <laughs> uh, shifter knob by Southern Trucker Gaming. Everything linked in the description below. You got the uh, ASP heavy hauler there. Uh, I look around freely with my head with head tracking by uh, Track IR version 5. Got all the stuff out of the way, didn't we? Because I get asked those questions and I want to make sure we uh, hit them right in the beginning. So no VR, it's Track IR is what it's called. Indeed. Well, I woke up today and uh, had Etta in my backyard. So Etta is a uh, category one hurricane, which I think it just got downgraded to a tropical storm again. And uh, we'll go to the next gear here. We are using a manual transmission, obviously, 18 speed in this bad boy. Man, yeah, this is a rough road, bumpy, bumpy, but it's early in the morning, so we should have a nice run all the way down the Million Dollar Highway today, uh, and it should be a beautiful day for driving. Last time we kind of got caught in the evening time, which is fine, but whenever I'm uh, checking out the Colorado DLC, I definitely want to... Uh, be able to see everything right in the day there we go but yeah i love the attention to detail on every little thing and 
when you go to these different places in Colorado, you just feel like you're in a different part of the state. You know, we're in a very desolate area up here in Rangeley. Fields and oil fields and whatnot. And then, all the way down the other side, you got Steamboat Springs, which is beautiful. And then we've got, uh, you know, a whole uh, state park that goes into Fort Collins there. All right, make a right turn out of here. I've seen no cars on the road yet out here, man. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? All right. Get her on out of here. One thing about these low boy trailers, man, they pivot so weird. Now, there's a truck. A fellow trucker. We got Drake, car dealer here. And he's going that way. All right, we'll roll up the other window, too. There we go. There we go. Now it's not so damn loud in the truck. We're going to go through downtown Rangeley here. There's another big truck. We got a Kenny W900 there. Very nice, man. Little Shepherds. People hanging outside. Very nice. And now we're starting to get, you know, with all these different uh, DLCs, we're starting to get some amazing driving between the states without having to use coast to coast. I mean, you can be driving for hours in this sim now. It is 33 here, so we're just kind of watching our speed with the mega right turn up here anyway. So we'll just go into six low. And now it's 45 through here. Okay. We got a school bus over here on the left. But yeah, man, with this new PC, this thing is screams. So I do uh, recommend you checking out the about page of my YouTube channel. It's got all the specs on there. If you want to see what I'm rocking. There he goes. That low boy just kind of pivots right around that way. Actually, that's a little early there. So I need to swing a little bit more than that, which is fine. So I'm getting my uh, graphics all, you know, set back up where they're supposed to go. And this is the first time I've played uh, American Truck Sim on an SSD. Now, out of the small amount of testing I've done with it, um, I haven't had any skips or stutters, which has been really nice. Now, the anti-aliasing there on the shadows doesn't look the best, but remember, these are all things we can uh, fix there down the road. With that Jake brake is like level two right now. We need to turn it down. Hold on. Get it set up here. There we go. We'll do level one. That's what I like it to be set at. We're going to be going through the the mountains pretty soon, actually, once we get out of here. We're just kind of going south right now, watching that trailer back there. Very cool. It's cool to have uh, low boys in here, I must say. Well, I hope your week is off to a great start. It's already Thursday tomorrow, so it's Wednesday today. Slow down around this corner here. Looking good. I do have my, those uh, those strobe lights going on back there in the back. So yeah, this is gonna be a long one, folks. It's gonna be a long one. So grab some uh, some refreshments, something to drink, you know, some some snacks. Cattle guard ahead. Oh look at this, got a cattle guard right here. Slow down for this puppy. Wow. I mean that'll do her. And, uh, you know, turn on some Spotify or you've got Amazon Music or something. Listen to some music on the way. Oh, we got Moo Moo's on the right. For the Moo Moo's. That's why with that cattle guard's there. They don't want the Moo Moo's getting out. I mean, it makes sense, right? It does to me. Oh, 25 through here. Wow. Yeah, we're going a little fast here. I think, it, I think things are about to, sh to change up on us big time here. As far as uh, how tight these turns are going to get. I've not been down the Million Dollar Highway yet. It's one of the most uh, famous places in Colorado. So, very excited to try it out. Get on up this hill. Yeah, this is why they want us to slow down to 25. Because, man, look at these turns coming up here. Here's Cattle Guard. Then we got a nice uh, sharp corner to the right here. A nice vista there. That's cool. With the Jeep just hanging out over there. Looks like it's up on a jack or something there, didn't it? All right. 
Well, have the engine brake on, ready to go here. We're gonna be going down a grade. We have to use our Jake brake. Roll the windows down a little bit here and enjoy it because we're gonna be going a little slower than than normal. And this dude is going really slow, so. That's okay. I get it, man. We have switchbacks coming up here. So yeah, once the um, the state's released and I can use mods again, I have some mods already in mind I'm gonna use. Uh, and we're definitely gonna be using a winter mod before too long too. I mean, I can't wait to see what Colorado looks like in the winter once they get that all set up for it. That'll be neat. Oh, getting a little too much in that lane. We need to go further to the right. Maybe it's a placebo effect, but it feels like these trailers, these low boy trailers pivot so differently. But I guess not. There we go around this way. This is our first set of switchbacks and this is nothing compared to what we're going to have. Whoa, audio is doing some weird stuff. I mean, this is nothing compared to what we're going to have today. The million dollar highway. Let's use that engine brake to assist us here. So yeah, we got to turn wider for this trailer. There we go like that. That's about where we need to be. I got to say, you know, one of the biggest things I've noticed in this DLC is that the, the rock textures are incredible. They've really gone out of their way to make the rock textures look good. Better than, better than anything we've seen before in the past, I gotta say. This little 25 through here, so we're we're doing that. Not getting too crazy here. More windy roads to do to deal with here. I'm just gonna keep it on uh now we got a 40 through here. All right, so it's going to pick up a little bit before we get down to the million dollar. And we'll know because we have to go through Grand Junction to get there. So right now we're just going through the smaller mountains, which is like nothing. All right, 55. What I'm talking about. And I do float my gears. I get people asking that question too. Once we get going with the clutch, we just uh, shift by floating them gears around. Man, the skybox looks really good. I talked about that last time. It's like the skyboxes have gotten so good on these uh, updates that America Trucks has been putting out. Around the corner. Yeah, these these kind of turns here are a little deceiving sometimes because they're like they got a slight hill to them and you can't really tell how tight the turn's gonna be. You gotta be ready for that. I know we're holding some people up back there, but uh, we're not doing 65 on this road. There's just no way that's gonna be a thing. Not yet, at least. I don't know why my audio has been cutting in and out. That's very strange. Welcome to Loma, everybody. Made it to Loma. And it's 50 through here, which we slowed down to 40. That's okay. I want to see the sights of Loma. Very cool. Little Quonset hut and stuff. Oh, we're getting on the highway? Yes, we are. We're going to be getting on Junction 70. 70. Slow on down. I've never had any audio issues before. This is a first, but you know what? On a new PC, we're gonna have some uh, some things we have to deal with here. All right, this guy's gonna be going absolutely slow. Yeah, still doing it. Try turning it down on the mixer or something. Maybe that'll help. The cutting of audio. Well, now we get on an interstate for a little while, but it's not going to be too long. I have a feeling. All right, 
Fruta. Go to Fruta. One mile. <laughs> oh, there's people on the walking trail down there. That's cool. That's another problem, man. Rubbernecking. Whenever you uh, get a new DLC state, you're just like looking at all the cool stuff around you and you're just like, oh man. Try not to run into anybody. Try not to. There's a big old truck stop up here on the right. That's cool. Yeah, there's something going on with the, the audio big time here, man. I don't know what's causing that. And maybe it won't be on the recording. I don't know, but it is here for me. Why are we slamming brakes for this dude to get on the highway? Like, come on, people. You've got to be kidding me with this. The merges are just horrid. Come on, buddy. I love how that car in the left lane just started hitting the brakes really hard to, and came to a complete stop. So now we have an idiot merge up here happening and it's blocking both lanes of traffic. That's good. That's what you want. Sometimes, man, America Truck Sim just is a little too realistic with their traffic flow and the drivers. <laughs> Grand Junction one or three quarter mile. We'll take that. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm just going to hang back here. It looks like that truck got on the highway, got in the far left lane, and now no one knows what to do here. There's like another big truck stop on the left down there. That's actually cool looking. Yeah, we're just going to roll this a little slow right now because I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it's like a big loves. That is so cool. I mean, you can see it on the GPS. It's massive. In fact, we're going to be going there because we need to get some fuel. We need to get some fuel. And we're going to double check the GPS and make sure the GPS isn't trying to put us on a different route because I, I have a feeling it might try to do that to us. Slur on down here. Don't need the engine brake on for that. Oh, this is one of those cool uh, crossover roads. Just got to yield to them. I see nobody coming on the right there. Okay. Let's see here. Yep, we go this way and then cross back over and then to the truck stop we go. I've seen these down in Florida, actually, in Tampa, and that's the first time I've ever seen them before. I know a lot of people have seen these, uh, this style. I forget the actual name of them, but it's it's weird when you whenever you encounter one for the first time. All right, we got the green. Grand Junction discovered. How do you like that? And the truck stops up here on the right, so we can just stay in this lane. And that should work out for us pretty well. A big old area there on the right we could probably sleep at or something if we had to. Well, there's the loves there, but that's the truck stop right here on the left. So I guess we have to get in the left lane to get into this place. Yep, it looks like. It's got a scale house and all sorts of stuff. Well, probably cat scale. All right. Driver is what they're calling this. So I think it's supposed to be like a flying J or something. That's what it looks like to me. All right, come to a stop here. By the way, when I'm in that gear, that's one L. Low low is all, all the way down here. I don't use low low. Somebody was saying that you you shouldn't shift through or out of low low or whatever. And it, I get that every single video. Even if I even if I drive it like. What, in my opinion, feels like good? Eh, it's never, it's never good enough. Somebody's like, you do this, and it's like, no, I don't, actually. It's, you can see it on the truck right there in front of me. On the dash, it tells you what gear I'm in. I don't use Lolo, like, ever, unless I have to on a hill. All right, let's read these signs, because we need to go where the trucks go. And it looks like trucks are straight ahead. All right, you got it. get to check out one of the truck stops here in Colorado and it's pretty cool from what I can tell so far 
And I like that they've been adding some more uh, trucks parked up. Because, you know, at a real one, it this thing would be, like, full. Okay, it looks like they've got this one pretty realistic, actually. We can pull in there and fuel up and then get on out of here that way. Because we're not stopping here or anything. we got a got a long trip ahead for us. We'll go to this one right over here. That works for me. Make sure our trailer's nice and straight. Yeah, there's one of the scales right there. Which I still have yet to find a use for them in this game. All right, come to a stop here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and fill her on up, and then uh, we'll get going again. Ah, it's a beautiful Peterbilt 389. Let's see how much this is going to cost to get going. And how many gallons it'll be. Because this thing wasn't completely empty, but still, I mean, $446 and 205 gallons of fuel. That's a lot. All right, I checked the GPS, and uh, everything checks out okay with that. Um, we're, it's not taking us anywhere weird or anything like that, so... We had to get off that exit anyway to get going down towards the million dollar highway. All right, we paid for that. I'm not using the scale or anything. I guess the exit's to the right. Or is it only one way out of here? Back to the way we came. Man, that's kind of dumb. They should have made it to where we could get out this way. But instead, we're gonna have to go circle all the way back around to get out of here. This would have been perfect to get on the road right there. And there's got to be a reason why they don't do that, but... I don't know, man. Yeah, it doesn't look like a very busy day here at this uh, truck stop. What is that? Is that a plane in the air? The hell is that? It is a plane. Whoa. That's interesting. It looks like, a, like an old P-51 or something, or a... Looks like a BF-109. <laughs> it's very strange, man. Oh, here's the arrows going this way. I'm very confused. I don't know how to get out of here, but okay. It didn't look like we could get out that way. Oh, it says exit this way. Okay, well, exit only to the right. Okay. I Dude, I have no clue what we're doing here with our lives, but we're going to do this instead. It looks like this is the way. It's this is a very confusing place. If I showed up here in real life, I'd be like, what are we doing here with our lives? Exit to the right out of this way. It says exit that way. So oh RV and all that. Okay. So yeah, we had we would have been fine um coming out the way we just came in. Alright, just making sure. Because that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. All right. Hopefully we get down there before it rains or something. I know we have rain probability on, like, pretty low. But it's still always an option. It can happen. That's just how she goes. All right. Going this way. Got the hang of this uh this transmission for the most part. Alright, so yeah, that's hearts, which is a loves. So it's weird they got one over there, but it's not accessible for us. It's just decoration. That sucks. Alright, yep, we want to go this way. I'm so confused, but we're just going to cross over this way. Yeah, that's right. Cool. And this truck's going this way as well. You got it, buddy. Oh, there we go. Got the got the green there. Go ahead. Oop. I skipped a gear there and screwed that all up. All right, we're coming back over to the right. Oh, I guess you have to use a blinker for that. No, that wouldn't. I mean, I guess so. Very strange. That's okay. And we are, for the most part, I'm going to see a little bit more of Grand Junction here. 
before we get down into the two lane highway. It's 45 through here. And this guy's going. Slur all the way down. Don't want to coast. Donut Planet. Look at that. That's cool. Another Peterbilt 389. Whoa. What's up? How you doing today? They're very focused on their job right now. They're not paying attention to us. That's for certain. Which is fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, so, um, uh, Flight Simulator had a new update come out. And apparently it broke everything again. Uh, with the Airbus. So, that's good news. Just kidding. <laughs> no, the, uh, the TCA Quadrant. Apparently they screwed that up. So it was working perfectly fine that last video we did. And uh, I'm uh, hoping it's going to get fixed. But there's some people that already have figured out a way around it. Um, so I'm going to look at that. Because we'll be doing another flight on that soon. All right, slow way down here, buddy. There we go. They got like docks and stuff here on the right, but they're not docks we can use. It's all decoration, which is cool. I like having all these little, you know, places that are probably realistic. That's like an errands. We've been racing this 389 day cab for like ever now. He came out of the same truck stop we did. Or she did. Uh, 35 through here. We're going through a little town, it looks like. Nobody's around. Cool. Take it easy around this corner. Ooh, nice. We're good. I've noticed that's another thing that's very popular in this, and I don't know if it's realistic in Colorado, but they have these roads set up for these one ways that are like this. Leave a comment below if that is a uh, realistic thing, because... I don't know why they do that a lot, but all the little places do. It could just be an SES like thing. I'm, I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards that's what it is. All right, right lane must turn right. Well, that's where we want to be. We want to turn right here and make sure we don't pop our tires on a wall over here. That worked out good. get industrial zone over here look at this got a rail yard that's cool looking all right man well we're back on the road again and we're crossing the Colorado River look at that that's beautiful I have a feeling this lane's gonna end eventually but until then we'll just kind of hang out doing our thing. I don't think we're going to expect any more lights along the way. Man, they made Grand Junction pretty big. Unless we're in a different town and I didn't see it. Yep. Back on the road we go. 55. So now we're on east... Uh, route 50, it looks like. And I think it's going to be a two-lane highway for a while. And then when we get into the switchbacks and all that and actually get on the million-dollar highway, then it's going to be a different story. So it seems like to me. Might actually hit 65 today. Look at this. And we're actually in eight high. It's the first time we've gotten to our final gear. Well, that's pretty sweet. There's some birds flying around over here. Look at all the birds. Those buzzards or something. Might be. All right, back down to 55. I think we're going through another town here. And it's going to be a 45. Yep. I'm right. Montrose. That's where we're at right now. So we're about to get on the million dollar highway. 
I forget the real reason why they call it the million dollar highway. I think it like, costs like a million dollars per mile. Yeah, something like that. I'm sure a quick Google search would help you out with that. Oh, there's an airport over there. Nice. It's like an old DC-4 hanging out. That's cool. Did you see that over there? That's yeah, an airport. The Montrose Airport. I saw the tail of like a DC-4 or DC-6 or something. It could have even been a Lockheed uh, Electra over there. Either way, it looked awesome. So welcome to Montrose, everybody. A nice little quiet town. It was a Peterbilt dealership over there we could get, but that's out of our way. We're already going way out of our way. We might even get a late because of this, but I'm just going to equate it to, you know, whoa, dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, dude. That was scary. I thought for sure they were going to stop. Nope. Had no intentions of that. No intentions of stopping. Oof. Yeah, that got my heart pumping a little bit there. All right, 30 through here. Yeah. Well, the lights up there changing anyway. So yeah, we're downtown Montrose. It's cool. Nice and quiet town. Let's just talk about, we just floated all those gears down to second and no grinds, baby. No grinds. That's amazing. I'm going to toot my own horn on that one. Don't mind me. Just doing my thing over here. This is Main Street of Montrose. Uh, or maybe it's Mount Rose. It could be Mount Rose, but I, I think it'd be Montrose. I, I don't I have no clue. I've always found that no matter what, somebody's going to be like, Nope, that's not how you say it. You got to say it this way. It's how I'm going to upset the locals now. Yeah, well. It wouldn't be an American Truck Sim video on my channel if we weren't upsetting locals about pronunciations. I'll tell you that. My lord. That has just been a staple of the channel. No, you didn't say that one right. It's like this. You gotta ignore the English language. Whoa! Watch your nose there, bro. Jeez, man. It's only gonna get crazier as we get closer to the uh, the mountain switchbacks, but I don't know what this is about. We had a car just stopped. Just stopped. No biggie, right? AI pathing issues there. All right, so this is where the lane ends here. And we got mountains in front of us here, so it's about to get spicy, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to get good. This is what we all came for. There's an RV park here on the right. That's amazing. All right, so we have steep grades coming up. Let's read this sign. It says warning or truckers passes something, something, something. It was something to do with the, uh, the weight and speed. The speed required for the weight, I think. One of those signs. All right, let's get the Jake's on. Let's start slowing her down. Be ready for this. So, watch for rocks and wildlife. Like I said, I wish we had wildlife in in this uh, sim. That'd be pretty cool if you had to deal with like a deer running in front of you. But not the case. So we don't have to worry about rocks or wildlife because they're not animated in this game. Let's take her easy in the beginning. And then if it starts getting out of control, we, we have our jakes. We should uh, not have to use our brakes, though. All those rocks over there. That looks amazing, man. Look at this national forest here. That is beautiful. So we are moving through a little town here of that. All right. This is a neat little mountainous town here. Look at this. Very cool indeed. Get into fifth there, buddy. Thank you very much. Did not want to get into fifth. Coffee break. 
That'd be nice right now. Need a coffee break myself. It's going easy through here. Yeah, look at these switchbacks we're coming up on here, folks. This is the million dollar highway. Because there's this town and then we have to go all the way up into that and then it gets really scenic from here. So let's go ahead and just roll our windows down here and enjoy the sights and sounds. Even though it's default uh, America Truck Sim. Because, man, modded sounds from, like, Creech Bomb would be amazing with the Jakes opening up. Oh, oh. oh yeah, that'd be nice. All right, so let's read this little sign here. It says, mountain passes, winding roads, steep, narrow roads, shoulders, next 45 miles. So, we made it to 550, baby. Million dollar highway. Let's do it. Let's watch out. Make sure our trailer is in good shape. There's another little road there off the side from the National Forest. Camp Bird Mine. And it's actually modeled. You can go down that road. That's cool. We're going to take her easy right now. It's only 25 mile an hour zone. And it's about to get crazy. 20 through here. All right. I'll back her down. Well, we're already at 20. Got big ram crossing or something. Truckers, mountain passes ahead. Yep. All routes narrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. We're going to take her easy. We got plenty of power under the hood on this baby to get through this with this load. I'm not, not even worried. She's not struggling at all right now. This is... Pretty special, man. This is cool. Look at this. Look at the rocks there on the right. Wow. There's that little town we were just in down there. Oh, that's that's cool stuff. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lookout point or something there. Now, these gates, I'm pretty sure these are like for when it snows. If the roads are closed, they come down. We got a tunnel here. Oh, we have to use the Jake break in the tunnel. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. We had to do that. 15 mile an hour through here. Wow, look at this. This is gorgeous. And I got a little, like, a waterfall and stuff. There's a waterfall around here I know of. I'm going to get a picture with it. There's the waterfall right there. I'm going to get a picture. All right. That was cool. We got some uh, screenshots there. No stopping, no parking. Next one mile. We got a trooper behind us, by the way, too. That is a cop. I noticed that in the uh, photo mode. I was like, oh. And look at this. We have no guardrail here. You just got to be careful. It's like going up Pike's Peak. Scary stuff, man. You don't have any guardrails like that. Look at that truck up there ahead, cutting through the mountains. So far, we've just been doing the speed limit. We've been, you know, been slower than the speed limit where we have to turn our flashers on or anything like that. Four ways. We got another National Force Access Engineer Mountain Trail there. Boy, look at that. The, the attention to detail, one, but two, the, uh, the texture work looks so damn good on all of this here. Yeah, we can at least get up into five high here. There we go. Yeah, this engine is having no issues with this mountain pass at all. Well, look at all the different uh, vegetation. Like, I... One thing that's really cool, you know, when we get new DLCs like this, and I always talk about it, we get more assets for, like, uh coast to coast or great America map mods and uh, this is going to help a lot. There's going to be a lot of neat assets people can use to build out states. All those. This is a neat, neat road. Okay, get our own up to speed here. Yeah, see, that whole area there would be just closed off if it was snowing and there's ice and stuff. Look at that. 
people hanging out up there enjoying the sights all right we got a mountain pass here let's take it easy keep an eye out for cars we don't want to be going head to head with one and look at that yeah you got to really really swing for this trailer that's okay I'm enjoying the challenge. We always get, you know, something pretty easy. Don't hit those sticks that are sticking out there. And I'm being a little bit more generous with it because there's no oncoming traffic as of right now. Somebody parked up there. All right, around the corner here. I see we're going all the way up the mountain and then we have to come down it and that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun actually. How many of you guys that are real truckers? I know we have a lot of real truckers that watch these videos uh, have actually gone through this pass. Have tra traveled the uh, million dollar highway avalanche ahead or area. That's what I said. Yeah, avalanche area. This has got to be the most surreal thing to drive a big rig on. I would imagine one of the there's a lot of different ones in the US, but and look at that. We got the dis deforestation up there on that mountain and everything. This is beautiful. This is cool stuff. Well, they're being nice. I haven't seen any oncoming traffic yet. But we're using them. You know, if we were using a traffic bomb, that'd be a different case. We've been able to be pretty, uh, pretty easy on this. What is that? There's a little bit of road construction there on the right. Not a whole lot. There's a, there, we just talked about that and here comes somebody now. And they're going real slow too, so. I don't even feel bad. This is cool stuff, man. Yeah, with a winter mod going through this pass, we're definitely gonna have to do that. And then, uh, get the uh, slippery roads and all that stuff and I can't even imagine that the problem with the slippery road mods that are out there is they're just a little too slippery it's like you're driving on ice and not snow yeah, make room for that trailer around that corner there we go Red Mountain Mining Overlook here. Look at this. You can go up on an overlook and check out the mine. This is one of the most scenic things I think I've seen in a in the truck sim so far. Yep, scenic overlook to the right there. Look at that. We're not even close to being done yet. I told you we're in for a long one today. I was hoping it wouldn't be so damn dark, but we could always sleep somewhere and then we could just take the late load and be like, whatever, it'll be late. That way we can see the daytime, you know? I think maybe we'll do that on this run because this would look really, really neat in the broad daylight and the sun's starting to go down. There's that mining station down there. Headlights on. It's that time of day. Yeah, I think we'll do that for the rest of the way. We're just gonna take a late on this one, folks. But we're gonna park up here, and uh, we'll get going again on the next day. So we are at uh, Red Mountain Pass. That's what that looks like right there. All right, cool. Yep, we'll sleep here. Uh, and hang out and then uh, we'll get going again the next day now the the loads gonna be be completely late Which we're okay with because I'd rather see it during the day than go into the night All right, it is the next day and we're gonna get going here. I uh, had a little bit of a rain shower But it is uh, gone. We actually get rid of the water here with our wipers and uh, We're ready to get rolling. Let's do it put her into one low and start rocking her out so yeah, this thing's gonna be a real late delivery, but it'll be worth it. It will indeed. 
Is the water on the windshield? Looks like it. Get rid of that. There we go. It's starting to go away. Yeah, this is too pretty to, to see during the nighttime. All right. Now we get to go down. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure Jake is set to the level we wanted at there. And here we go, folks. Oh, man. Look at the snow-capped mountains on the left there. Yeah, we wouldn't never have seen any of this stuff in the evening time. We're at 10,000 feet on the elevation. Look at that road up there ahead. We got to go through. Make sure that's turned down. Runaway truck ramp two miles. So not going to use my brakes. Nothing like that. We're going to be slow here. So let's get our four ways on. We're going to be slower than 45 all the way down this hill, but that's okay. We'll just take it easy. And we'll be good. Man, look at that. I cannot wait to do this run in VR. That's going to be neat. A little bit more speed than that. I haven't had to touch the brakes once yet. Make her nice and slow. Five low. Range cattle. Come on down. Man, just every little bit of this uh, drive has been so pretty. So cool. With a truck and a police car there. And it's 50 through this section here. And the runaway truck ramp is 1,500 feet. But yeah, one of these videos, we're going to take it. We're going to take the uh, runaway truck, truck ramp and see what it's like. I've never done that before. Let's simulate a brake failure. Still seems like that Jake is too high. No, it was pretty low. But there's the runaway truck ramp there. Look at that. It goes off to the right. And then digs down into the into the dirt there. That's just a strong motor in this truck. Like it had no issues with that at all. Flashes off, don't need them. Get our Jake set back on here for the turn. We're looking all right here. Another uh, sign there, land of something, it said. All right, million dollar highway achievement unlocked. We're in Durango. This is the city limit for Durango here. All right, let's be nice to them and not kill them with our uh, loud pipes here. We'll just use our brakes as we need to. Now, I know that uh, a lot of people uh, like to drive with the headlights on, and, and usually it's actually the, uh, the law. But we're not doing that because what it does is it paints that unrealistic splash of light in front of the truck during the day. So that's the reason why I don't run with my headlights on. I'll put the secondaries on or whatever once in a while, but uh, we don't run with the headlights on because of that reason. All right, screw it. We're not going to make that one. No way in heck. All right, Park Avenue. Everybody needs a friend on that building right there is what that says. Roller 
window. Oh, our, our windows are still rolled down. Got Jekly. The tourist guides and then the yummy and some other stuff there. Very cool. So now we should be able to cross into uh, New Mexico and have no problems at the line. But then we got to shoot all the way back to the east. Definitely worth it though. That that was worth it. And I couldn't get a run anywhere else with the low boy uh, without doing it this way. So it is kind of that's how she goes. There's like a slight turn to the right here. I can technically make it right on red, so I'm going to do that. Nope. They don't like that. I didn't, need a, I didn't see a sign that said we couldn't. Oh, well. Oh, well. There's a tidbit up here on the left. That's a drop area. I'm just getting the layout of the land here, but I'm loving the mountains. I'm loving the green. Moe's Motor Parts. Classic Moe's Motor Parts there. Yeah, that's the tidbits there. I've dropped off at that uh, prefab many, 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 many times. It's actually my favorite one because it has a, you know, a downhill uh, dock. And those are my uh, favorite ones because you can just kind of take it easy on down it. And they usually let you bump the dock on those, which is nice. All right, we're good on fuel and everything else. How's everybody doing? You hanging in there? Having fun? It's been a nice drive for us. It really has. Get a little bit more patient and then I can actually nail those floats. The truck, you coming over this way? Nope. Okay. We're just staying in this lane, so. Oh, you're in such a hurry to get all the way back down there again. Cause we're going to beat you, buddy. Bye. Oh, I say that now and then we have a red light. <laughs> and it didn't work out so well for us, did it? I'm like racing this, this dude. And his Peterbilt. Company truck, man. Look at the uh, wheels on that thing. Steelies. Yeah, striped shirt on. Where's Waldo? I found him. Missed that one. All right, so now we're getting into some stuff. We got a uh, little shop in here. It looks like we got fuel, some other stuff. We got a motel. That's pretty cool. mess around with that too much. Ooh, nice classic car there. Old Cadillac, man. That's what I want to get. I want to get like a 67 or a 60 between or 68 or 69, like between 67 and 69 uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville. That is my dream sedan. That's what I want. So one day I'll own one. Now I used to have my old mobile Tornado a long time ago and I was just becoming a money pit. So I ended up uh, just giving it to my mom so she could make money off of it by scrapping it or selling it or whatever. It needed some love and, and care, but I buy those old cars and I, you know, my they're my daily drivers and and they, they did really well for me. I think the best purchase I ever made was uh, I bought a Cadillac, an 87 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And that thing was awesome. I got it for 800 bucks. I remember I went all the way up in Detroit, Missouri to pick it up from a guy. Uh, yeah, it was 800 bucks. And I didn't even think about it. I brought my checkbook with me and I was, I didn't even think to get cash for that. I was, you know, younger and dumb, but I was like, oh, sorry, man. I only have a checkbook. And he's like, oh, 
I said, if you can cash it immediately, like I give him my phone number, all that address, and let you get a hold of me if you have any issues. He was really nice about it. But I got that thing, and dude, I owned that car from 2008 all the way to 2012. Pretty long time. She was a good car for me. And then I uh, bought the Tornado, the 77, uh, right after that. We got another signal up here. Yep, looks like it. Here, Pagosa something there. Springs, it looked like. That's where that was. There we go. Sometimes I had to give it too much gas on the downshift. It's kind of hard to get that right without being in like a, you know, a real car or truck in this matter to feel it all out. I'm going. Screw it. We're not getting stuck at that light again. No way, Jose. Lane ends. Get in the left lane. All right. So now we're east on 160. That was neat, man. Let's roll our windows up. And enjoy the drive here. There we go. That's good. Fantastic. Yeah, the Colorado DLC has really, really made me just want to drive an America Truck Sim over and over again. Turn our lights off. We don't need any of those on. Oop. It's nice. Nice and during the day here. There goes the mountains all the way in the distance to our left over there. A wood chipper on the left? Yeah, it looks like it. Nope. Combine. Combine, baby. Okay, Jake's are on. Go ahead and just go into seven low and just coast on down the hill here. Because that looks like a pretty nasty turn down there. Yeah, they say 55, but I'm going to take it at 45. Not going to get into trouble with that. This is beautiful. Now we're like in farming country here. Are we in? I think we're still in Colorado. The Pedro River. I don't know why I rolled the D there, but I wanted to. That's why. A little road there. That's cool. Yeah, I've never seen this before, so I think this is still Colorado we're in. We're not in New Mexico. Look at that off in the distance over there on the right. There's like some structures up there. Some farmland down there on the right. I haven't seen any signs for New Mexico, so we're still in Colorado for sure. And I've been all over the place in every one of the states, and I've never seen this road before, so. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe we are in New Mexico. Uh, well, we'll find out, won't we? I don't know, dude. Well, I know it's 55 through here, so we're, we're not even close to going fast for that. Giving her all she's got, Captain. All right, 45. And we have a light, of course. Our Pagosa Springs. Just looking down enough for that. I, I knew we were not going to make that light no matter what. Wasn't going to happen. Wasn't in the cards for us. Okay, I'm going to look on the map here in a second, but I'm trying to figure out where the hell we are. I remember we had to make that turn to go back east, but we were supposed to be in New Mexico. So we might be in New Mexico, actually. I think we are. Okay, so no, we are not in New Mexico. We made that left before then. I thought we were going to take 64 and all this down and around that way. We're doing this instead. So we came out of Durango and we're still here on that. So there's Highway 160 you could take up and through Alamosa and over to Raton. Uh, or we could go down here into that. So instead of going through New Mexico, we're actually going to alter it and we're going to go up this way. Nope, not that. Get rid of that. Get rid of you. We're going to go this way up here. Yeah. We yeah, actually might have to go like up and over. Yeah, like that. All right, that sounds like a good time to me. That way we're staying in Colorado and we're still checking out the DLC. I told you it's going to be a long video. I, I wasn't lying to you. So I know a lot of people be in enjoying the uh the drive if they're into america truck sim and those of you that are not well either way i've really enjoyed this drive today this has been fun and uh we didn't really get to get a good showcase last time and this time we will 
and this lane ends, but that's okay because that truck is turning. Perfect. That worked out just fine for us, didn't it? San Juan River. I was going to say, I've been through the New Mexico DLC so much. I was like, I've never seen, never have I seen that. So this was all new to me and I was right. Take 84 down into Santa Fe. That's cool. I'm going to go up through some more uh, mountain passes here. Oh, yeah. Getting up to speed now. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, we don't need those on yet. We have a hill that will help us slow down if we have to. Like that. People hanging out over there on that wood pile. That's neat. All right, you need a little bit more power than this here. Not a problem at all. I think this has the uh, 550 horsepower cat engine in it. If memory serves correct. I think it's what we got under the hood. It might be 600 actually. It's been a while. Keep right, except the pass. You got it. Oh, uh, you got a boss. Oh, look at that tree on its side over there. That's cool. A little, a lot of state parks here in Colorado, man. A lot of them. Not complaining. By any means. All right, so we just hang out in this, and we're going up into the mountains again. Go up them, and then go down them. And then we hop on 25 and take that south into Raton. That's all we got to do. Watch for rock. You got it. Yeah, I like those uh, pine trees and stuff that are like not they're like dead looking. Like This is neat. Neat, neat stuff today. I think we're punching our ticket. We got our money's worth for uh, for Colorado today, didn't we? That's figurative. figuratively speaking, because I did not pay for this DLC. SES sent it to me uh, early, so it's just an expression. It'll be all right. Okay, we are going back down. Now we're going down a hill, it looks like. We have some switchbacks coming up here. That should be fun. Uh, looks like we're climbing them, so I don't think we're going to need our jakes at all, actually. what it looks like to me. We'll need for the first turn though. Right here. That worked out just fine. Yeah, we're going up this hill. You got a person taking pictures? Yeah, they were. Let's get in our lane there, Jeff. Stop looking at everybody else and look at the road. We'll just stick here to six high because we're going up a hill. We're going to probably drop it down to six low if we have to. However, like I said, this thing's got some power under the hood. Look at this. We're getting into seventh. Oh, it's 35 through here. Oh, let's slow, slow, slow it down. Didn't even realize that. My fault. You've discovered a new viewpoint. Very nice. I'm glad we did. Yeah, everybody's going real slow, so. We were not paying attention to that, were we? Around this way. Oh, that's the first stutter I've seen so far. It's been pretty much butter this entire run. Can't complain about that. Yeah, there's a scenic view right there. That's neat. We're already behind, so we're uh, not going to stop for those, sadly. I know. It would have been cool. Oh, look at that road. I bet you that's a secret road. Nope, it's a runaway. <laughs> runaway ramp. It's a secret road, all right. It's one you can't drive on. All the way up through the mountains. 
Yeah, this, this truck is having no issues with this run. Left lane ends. Imagine that. So now we're going to have to go downhill. So we'll get our Jake set here and be ready for it. So that's what it says. Trucks use lower gear. Yep. Because we're going to go down the mountain now. Maintain 45. That is not an issue. Like at all yet. I say that and we haven't gotten to the actual grade yet. Uh, 30 through here, slow her down. There we go. And another sign up here too. Watch for rocks and wildlife. Oh, we got a tunnel. Gotta go through the tunnel. You know what we gotta do there. Roll the windows down for that. Is there a Jake break in the tunnel? Oh, yeah. That big old open area there. You can park at and turn around if you had to. That's a nice spot. Right, windows up. about around that 35 mile an hour that uh, works out just fine for me oh ba -boo, ba -boo. i don't know how long we've been going but it's been a long trip i can tell you that it's been a long trip okay we got a tunnel up here another tunnel there's a little road that goes around the tunnel too. That's cool. Oh yeah. Listen to that. That's pretty good. Ah, if only we had Creech bomb sounds, man. If only. <laughs> that would have been so cool. That would have been neat. Going through that. All right, we are. We got to be getting closer to 25 now. Deer crossing through here. I'm not really worried about that. Well, Colorado has continued to impress me. It really has. Look at that cabin on the right there, like an A-frame cabin or something. Nope, just an old cabin, not an A-frame. down and we're getting out of the mountains now it's like I can always tell we've been driving for over an hour because you start getting even in this game like you start getting that driver like driving fatigue you know The, si the sounds of the highway worrying and all that stuff. I know it's just a sim, but it does do that. And I've done the, uh, you know, coast to coast trips and they are crazy. And uh, I've had it, you know, it's where when I was done, it's like, man, I feel like I've been literally driving for four hours. Like, yeah, because you were, <laughs> you're literally driving for four hours. And that's nothing for truckers. Slow her on down here. Oh, yep. Had a little bit of a cut on the uh, audio there, too. I don't, I don't know what that is, man. That's Who knows? Windows update had, you know, their nonsense and changing out audio drivers for the Go XLR. It's could be a driver issue. Mont Vista is where we are. You can also call it Monty Vista if you'd like. I'm going to go with Mont to be safe. Oh, I missed that shift. Damn. I didn't know I did. 
was too busy looking over. People playing basketball. So we are in Mont Vista now, and we have got to be getting close to 25. I don't think we have a very long way to go this way before getting on uh, 25 South to get into Raton. Or somebody said that there was a huge portion missing there of uh, of that. Like the, uh, like a pass or something. Yeah, see, we can launch in second gear, no problem with this truck in this trailer. This hasn't been a problem at all. Somebody got in trouble by the police there. All right, railroad tracks. I want to get caught out on these, man, because when they go down, they go down. Just slow down for it. This to be safe. No trains to the right. Nobody on the left, we're good. I technically didn't change my gear over the tracks. I changed it right before. Technically. There's the train right there. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Get our secondary lights on. It's going to be evening time. I bet it's going to be close to tonight when we get to Raton. The two day trip. Only because we wanted to see things during the day. Really, it's, it says it's 65, but I guarantee you that's going to be a 45 zone up ahead. You watch. Nope, 55. We aren't even close to that speed yet. Oh. Alamosa, everybody. We made it to Alamosa. We definitely have seen so much of this DLC today. I love it. All right. Don't need those on anymore. Also, to uh, for those of you that don't drive a stick shift or don't understand in trucking at all. Uh, it's kind of a bad habit, even driving a car to not downshift to just, you know, push the clutch in and coast, uh, in a big rig like this, in a commercial vehicle, you can't coast. Uh, it's actually illegal to do that. So you always want to have your, uh, your truck in gear when you're downshifting. It's not like you can just push the clutch in and roll and then use the brakes. That's considered what is illegal and and they call it coasting so that's the reason why i don't do it but i know that you know you could do it uh, i will i'll do that once in a while you'll see me do it once in a while when i'm like coming close even closer to a uh stoplight for the most part we just uh we'll floater down walsenberg antontio what antotinos know what i said totinos totinos What a trip this has been. And look at all this. Got some dead wood over there on the right. Old dead trees and stuff. And it looks like they uh, they optimized this, this map pretty good. Because remember, we had all those issues with uh, Idaho, sadly. And maybe those got fixed too. I haven't been in there yet to check. But I've only seen it once so far. I believe this is a one-way street. Bring it in the left lane here. I've only seen it once. The little American flags on the poles. Shout out to everybody that lives in Alamosa. Pretty cool. We're seeing it right here. Yeah, the one-way street thing seemed to be a recruitment agency. Seemed to be a Colorado thing for sure. I mean, everybody has one-way streets. Don't get me wrong, but nothing <laughs> like this. Alamosa did not disappoint. It's pretty darn cool. Let's say burgers, hot dogs, sandwich. It's a diner. Oh man, that's making me hungry. 
in that city of champions. Well, we certainly feel like a champion today. And here's the Rio Grande. How was that said? Yeah, I think so. A little baby part of it. Fun and Sand Motel. That's an interesting looking motel. Got a hot air balloon out there in the distance. Look at that. Truck works. That's a little shop there. I'm meaning to take off the uh, bug shield on this truck. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Don't need that on. All right, get our speed back up. Yeah, Jake's already off. Don't need him. Now we're out here in a desolate area. Just now getting to 65 and passing that trooper. So we were fine on that. And we're using an external contract, so they're not going to let us go over 65 anyway. So nothing to worry about there. Just eight low here. Headlights on for safety as it is dusk. I'm getting closer to dusk. Like I said, I think we're going to be dropping off at night, which kind of sucks, but I haven't had to, uh, well, I've had had to back this in once this uh low boy trailer and they just that that weird pivot to them you have to be ahead of that big time the sun's going down and we've seen pretty much all there is to see because now we're just going to see some uh, farmland stuff when we're back on 25 and we already seen that uh 25 to raton in the last video so if you haven't seen that yet you can check out the other video Here on the channel. Oh, looks like this lane just completely, that left one ends, so we didn't have to merge. Good to know. Trucks use lower gear. We're on it, man. Got a boss. The mountains on our left there. I think those, that's the backside of Pike's Peak over there. We're seeing. Five of this. Let's oh, see a little sketchy turn here at that speed. There we go. We'll just jake down the this section of it. Works out for me. A little scenic overlook there on the right. Finally getting up to speed there. There's 65. I'm hitting the governor. This turn doesn't look too bad. I'll slow down just a little bit there. So yeah, we did, uh, you know, million dollar highway and all those different mountain passes and we didn't have to use our brakes at all. We just used our Jake brake correctly and gearing. And that's what, that's what it's all about. That's that's how you feel accomplished going through that, not having to ride the brakes. Forty-five zone. This is it. We made it to twenty-five. So yeah, that was Pike's Peak back that way. We just kind of went by the backside of. I'm gonna slow way down for that one. All right, well, now we're on the home stretch. Almost to 25, and almost to Raton. There's a weird on-ramp here. We'll take it. We'll take it. I still see my uh, 
strobes going on back there. It's cool. Ooh, a longer on-ramp. I'll take that. I mean, it's not super long, but it's longer than it's been. All right. And now we're on uh, in familiar territory again. Get back up to speed. That was a fun trip through Colorado, man. Fun stuff. We're about to cross into New Mexico. Look at that. Eight high. We're at 65 on the contract. Cruise control coming on. Home stretch. Trinidad. Next exit. La Juanta. That's where we're at right now. We're not exiting there. Yeah, apparently this is a really scenic area in real life, and it's just come, there's an area here that's been completely cut from the game. According to what I read in the comments. Yep, there's the Starkville exit and the, uh, the way station there on the left. I remember all of this from our first run. So let's say we're going to be entering Raton here before the sun goes down. So completely at least. We'll have a little bit of light on the back. This is our exit coming up. Well, not this time, but the next one. Oh, we get to bypass the way station. Look at that. The trucking gods are looking out for us today. You got to love it. Dropping the eight low here, so we can use that coming down the turn our cruise control off and use the Jake's coming down here because we're exiting here into Raton. Higher than that, there we go. Let's open our windows back to square one. Back to square one. Not too bad. Where'd he come out of? Oh. Off the highway, probably. Good, good, good stuff. I really, really enjoyed that run today. And uh, I think we made up for our, our last one where we were driving in the night. Some beautiful scenery to look at this time around. And we're going to the bitumen here in Raton, which is on the left. So we'll stick to the left lane for now. That works for me. I think that's where we originally picked up. No, we picked up the rail yard, didn't we? Originally, when we went to Colorado the other day. Pretty certain that's what we did. Woo! There's the bar on the right. Oh, that sounds good, too. The food sounds good. The bar sounds good. It all sounds good. No U-turn. Wouldn't dream of it. Don't worry about us. We would never do that. How we ever do something like that? That's the bitumen right there on the left. I don't know how we get in here or where we're going exactly. Ooh, we got the, the arrow. Nice. Perfect timing for that. All right. We made it here. Sorry, car. We're pulling in here. We'll find out where they want it on the right there. looks like. Back in there somewhere. I'm watching that over there. Look at the area. All right, so uh, right in here. 
Hey, it looks like a pretty straightforward drop, honestly. Just going to get set up here to where we don't have to blind it in. And like I said, these low boys like to do these weird kind of maneuvers when it comes to how you, uh, you pivot into it. Uh, I think I'm going to have to blind it no matter what we do here. Let's see. Should be set up right here, though. All right. Get her going this way. And follow it on back. Yeah, we're going to be blinding it in for sure. Looking okay. Just keep it, keep it going. These trailers are so strange to back. Looking good, though. And just straighten it out here. We might be all right here. And then we won't be having to blind it so much. There we go. We're pretty straight right here, man. This isn't bad at all. Should have had our four ways on. Oops. Oopsie daisy. There we go. Right there. That was a beautiful setup our back I think they'll be happy with this Let me just keep it going be a little off here but that's all right if anything we might have to pull up to the left I can't tell which way that trailer is pointing well it looks like it's pretty decent it's been slowly moving it more that way let's see what they say here Ah, uh, yeah, they'll take it, but I, let's be professional and make sure it's good to go here because I wasn't happy with that. Yeah, it's a shorter trailer than you think it is. There we go. That's better. I know we've been driving for a while, folks, but I want to be proud of our back, right? Of our job. I pride in it. There we go. We'll take that. We will take that. All right, time to get in trouble. Let's go ahead and turn our beacons off there, and we'll go ahead and shut the engine off, and four ways come off, and let's get our late, and we had an excellent. Oh, so it didn't matter if I did that, the change on the time in the, uh, in the console. It didn't seem to matter at all. So it still was fine, 645 miles, one hour, 48 minutes, 129.2 gallons of fuel consumed, and look at that. We did it, folks. What a fun drive that was. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below, and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.